Welcome back, my dear listeners, to Real Real Talk. I am your host, as always, Josh Bell. And today, we're diving into the festive world of holiday cinema with a classic that's a staple in just about every Christmas movie marathon. That's right, we're going to take a sleigh ride of laughter and mayhem as we discuss the iconic film Home Alone. This film is the heartwarming and hilarious tale of young Kevin McAllister, a boy who discovers that being left behind during the holiday season can lead to the adventure of a lifetime. When the family jets off for Christmas vacation without him, Kevin's house becomes his playground, and two bumbling burglars are about to meet their match. We'll explore the film's appeal, Macaulay Culkin's unforgettable performance, and the ingenious booby traps that have become the stuff of legend. But Home Alone is more than just slapstick humor. It's a heartwarming tale about family, resilience, and the true meaning of Christmas. So go grab yourself a cup of hot cocoa, maybe a bag of popcorn, and let's cozy up by the fire as we dive into the world of Home Alone. So let's start by taking a look at the plot. The film opens with a chaotic McAllister family preparing for a trip to Paris for the holiday season. Amidst the frenzy, Kevin, played by Macaulay Culkin, becomes frustrated with his family and is sent to the attic as punishment. During the night, a power outage resets the alarm clocks, causing the family to oversleep and rush to the airport the next morning, inadvertently leaving Kevin behind. Kevin wakes up to find his house empty and initially revels in his newfound freedom. He indulges in all the things he's not normally allowed to do, including eating junk food, watching inappropriate movies, and jumping on the bed. However, his excitement is short-lived when he realizes that two burglars, Harry and Marv, are planning to rob his home on Christmas Eve. Determined to protect his house, Kevin devises a series of booby traps, using household items and ingenuity to thwart the burglar's every move. Meanwhile, his mother, played by Catherine O'Hara, frantically tries to return home after realizing that they've left Kevin behind. Her journey is filled with mishaps as she desperately tries to make it back to her son. Kevin's resourcefulness keeps Harry and Marv at bay, leading to a series of hilarious and slapstick confrontations between the would-be burglars and the young boy. With the help of his neighbor, Old Man Marley, Kevin eventually outsmarts the burglars. And in the film's heartwarming climax, Kevin and his mother are reunited, and the family comes together for a joyful Christmas celebration. Home Alone is a timeless and endearing holiday classic that emphasizes the value of family resourcefulness and the spirit of Christmas. The film's humor, charm, and unforgettable moments have made it a beloved part of many holiday traditions. Home Alone offers a delightful blend of film aesthetics that contribute to its appeal, making it a visual treat for the holiday season. The film's aesthetics begin with its picturesque suburban setting. The McAllister family home, nestled in an idyllic neighborhood, is beautifully decorated with Christmas lights and decorations. This setting creates the perfect backdrop for the holiday shenanigans that follow. Inside the McAllister home, the aesthetics exude warmth and coziness. The rich, inviting colors, soft lighting, and festive decor make you feel right at home. The contrast between the cozy interior and the snowy exterior adds to the film's charm. As Kevin sets up a series of booby traps to thwart the burglars, the film's aesthetics take a humorous turn. The traps are constructed using everyday household items, creating a visually entertaining spectacle. From paint cans swinging from the staircase to tarantulas and hot doorknobs, these traps are not only ingenious, but also visually memorable. The film's climax occurs during a snowy winter night, and the aesthetics of the snow-covered neighborhood add a magical touch. The pristine snow enhances the festive atmosphere and contributes to the film's holiday charm. Home Alone is also known for its slapstick humor and physical comedy. The film's aesthetics play a crucial role in delving into these comedic moments. Whether it's Marv's head getting stuck in a window, or Harry's interaction with Kevin's imaginative cardboard cutouts, the visual gags are perfectly timed and executed for maximum comedic effect. The film also relies on the facial expressions of the characters, particularly Kevin and the burglars, to convey humor. 
Macaulay Culkin's expressive face perfectly captures the mischief and determination of his character, while Harry and Mars' reactions to the booby traps are a sight to behold. Overall, this film's aesthetics are an integral part of its charm, creating a visually appealing and entertaining experience that complements the heartwarming and humorous story of a young boy's holiday adventure. The score of Home Alone plays a significant role in enhancing the film's emotional depth and its status as a beloved holiday classic. The film score was composed by the renowned John Williams, and it weaves a musical tapestry that captures the magic and spirit of Christmas while accentuating the film's comedic and heartwarming moments. The film score is perhaps best known for its iconic main theme, Somewhere in My Memory. The theme is instantly recognizable and has become synonymous with the holiday season. Its enchanting melody evokes a sense of nostalgia, warmth, and the joy of Christmas time. John Williams infuses the score with traditional holiday music elements, including arrangements from classic Christmas carols. These familiar tunes, such as O Holy Night and Carol of the Bells, add to the festive atmosphere of the film. And beyond the holiday cheer, the score of the film enhances its emotional depth. It underscores the loneliness Kevin initially feels when he believes he's been abandoned, and the heartwarming moments when he forms an unlikely bond with his neighbor. The score also embraces the film's comedic elements. When Kevin sets up his elaborate booby traps to thwart the burglars, the music takes on a mischievous and playful tone. It complements the slapstick humor and adds to the overall lightheartedness of the film. John Williams gives certain characters their own musical themes. For example, Marv and Harry the Bumbling Burglars have comical motifs that play when they're on screen. This adds an extra layer of humor to their characters. Overall, John Williams' score is a masterpiece that elevates the film and has become an important part of the holiday season for many. Its ability to capture the magic, sentiment, and humor of Christmas makes it a timeless and cherished component of this beloved family classic. Now, Home Alone explores several thematic elements and make it more than just a holiday comedy. It's a film with heart, humor, and important life lessons. At its core, Home Alone is a celebration of the importance of family, the McAllister's family's chaotic, albeit relatable dynamics remind us that family can be a source of both frustration and love. The separation and subsequent reunion of Kevin with his family highlight the bonds that tie them together. Kevin's time alone at home forces him to take on a level of independence and responsibility he's never had to experience before. This theme encourages viewers, especially children, to recognize their own capabilities and adaptability in challenging situations. The film also explores the theme of empathy. Kevin initially wishes for his family to disappear, but when he encounters old man Marley, he learns not to judge people based on appearances. The heartwarming scene between Kevin and Marley conveys a message of understanding and forgiveness. Kevin's ability to outsmart the burglars by setting up elaborate traps demonstrate his resilience and resourcefulness. This theme encourages viewers to think creatively in the face of adversity and shows that even a child can overcome challenges. And the film's central plot revolves around the Christmas season. It emphasizes the joy of the holidays, the spirit of giving, and the magic of the season. The iconic score and holiday decorations contribute to its festive atmosphere. Even the burglars, Harry and Marv, experience a form of redemption. Their pursuit of Kevin leads to numerous comedic pitfalls, but they eventually face consequences for their actions. This theme reinforces the idea that wrongdoers will ultimately be held accountable for their actions. Overall, Home Alone balances its slapstick comedy with these thematic elements, making it a heartwarming and relatable holiday film that still has impact with audiences of all ages, reminding us of how important it is to have family, empathy, and to have joy in the holiday season.
Home Alone boasts a talented cast and crew whose contributions were essential in crafting the film's charm. First with the cast, we have Macaulay Culkin's portrayal of Kevin, which is iconic. He perfectly captures the character's mischievous yet endearing nature, and his comedic timing is impeccable. As one of the bumbling burglars, Harry, Joe Pesci brings his signature intensity to the role. His comedic performance is in stark contrast to his more serious roles in other films. Daniel Stern playing the other hapless burglar, Marv. His tall, lanky frame and physical comedy skills make him the perfect counterpart to Joe Pesci's character. Catherine O'Hara's performance as Kevin's mother, Kate, strikes a balance between the chaos of the situation and the genuine concerns for her son. She embodies the caring yet frantic parent. John Hurd portrays Kevin's father, Peter. His character is a mixture of fatherly warmth and comic exasperation. And in a memorable cameo, John Candy plays Gus Polinski, the polka band leader who offers Kate a ride home. His warm presence adds to the film's holiday spirit. As for the crew, Chris Columbus directed the film, bringing his knack for family-oriented films to the project. His ability to balance comedy with the heart is evident throughout. John Hughes wrote and produced Home Alone. His script is filled with witty humor and relatable family dynamics. The legendary John Williams composed the score, including the iconic holiday theme. Julio Macat's cinematography captures the warmth of the McAllister home and the snowy wonderland outside, enhancing the film's aesthetics. Raja Gosnell's editing skills ensure the film's comedic timing is spot on making the slapstick humor even more effective. The combined efforts of this talented cast and crew result in a film that has become a holiday classic, with performances that continue to charm audiences and memorable characters who have left an indelible mark on cinema. Now, we always say no film is without its own shortcomings, and Home Alone is no exception to this. Let's take a look at a couple. First, the film relies on a significant suspension of disbelief, especially when it comes to the burglar's injuries. The traps Kevin sets are wildly elaborate and would likely cause far more harm than depicted in this family comedy. There are some minor plot holes, such as how the family doesn't realize Kevin is missing until they've already boarded the plane. Additionally, the police response to the burglars is comically delayed. Some of the characters, particularly the burglars, lack substantial character development. They are primarily vehicles for slapstick humor, which may not resonate with viewers seeking more depth. The film's resolution, while heartwarming, is somewhat predictable. Kevin's family comes to his rescue, and the burglars receive their comeuppance, adhering to a typical family film formula. Some viewers have pointed out the portrayal of the character of Old Man Marley is somewhat stereotypical, as he initially appears as a scary figure only to be revealed as kind-hearted. While the film intends to teach a lesson about not judging others based on appearances, this trope can be seen as cliched. Now, these are relatively minor shortcomings in the context of a lighthearted family comedy. They may not stand out upon closer examination, but they do not detract from a significantly at all the film's overall enjoyment and appeal. Home Alone continues to be a classic that captures the holiday spirit with humor and heart. Home Alone is a film that is full of interesting trivia and behind-the-scenes anecdotes that add to its charm. First, to capture realistic reactions from Macaulay Culkin for the booby traps, the film's art director, Dan Webster, watched episodes of Three Stooges with him. Culkin's exaggerated facial expressions were inspired by the slapstick comedy of the classic show. In the scene where Marv encounters a tarantula on his face, Daniel Stern's scream is genuine. He agreed to do the scene with a real tarantula, but the scream was not part of the plan. Stern was not informed that the tarantula would be placed on his face, and his reaction is authentic. 
The gangster film that Kevin watches, Angels with Filthy Stoles, is not a real movie. It was specifically created for Home Alone. The filmmakers wanted a vintage gangster film to contrast with the burglar's bumbling antics. Many lines from the film have become iconic, including Kevin's keep the change, you filthy animal. And this is it. Don't get scared now. These lines are still quoted by fans today. John Candy's cameo as Gus Polinski was filmed in one single day, and he improvised much of his dialogue. The character's backstory as a polka band leader was also created on the spot. The film held the Guinness World Record for the highest box office gross for a comedy unadjusted for inflation until 2011. Holly Culkin's younger brother, Kieran Culkin, made his acting debut in Home Alone as Kevin's cousin Fuller, who he's afraid will wet the bed. And these bits of trivia contribute to the film's popularity and show the creativity and humor that went into its making. Home Alone continues to be a film that delights both young and old during each holiday season. So to wrap things up with a neat little bow, Home Alone is a heartwarming and hilarious film that captures the spirit of Christmas. It's a tale of a young boy's journey from mischief to responsibility, filled with ingenious booby traps and an unforgettable score by John Williams. It includes a strong message about family and facing one's fears. We've explored the film's aesthetics, its score, the thematic elements, and discussed the talented cast and crew who brought the film to life. In our book, Home Alone, earns a solid 8 out of 10. If you want to share your thoughts on Home Alone or have suggestions for future episodes, don't hesitate to reach out to us at realrealtalk at gmail.com. That's therealrealtalk at gmail.com. On Twitter at realrealtalkpod. And on Instagram at realrealtalk. And speaking of the future, our Christmas series will continue with a review of Die Hard. So stay tuned for more movie magic on Real Real Talk. Until then, keep watching, keep loving, and keep those reels rolling.